in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. What we're whipping in the pots and we're serving great dishes. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. Yeah, it's mama in the kitchen whipping up the dishes. You already know. Knock it off. I'm not the. I'm not a rapper. No. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. What's up, everybody? And welcome to my in the kitchen chef's coat edition. Today we're gonna do a little tasty treat. One of my favorites, once again. You know, my likes of sweets, candies, and Rice Krispie treats. One of my favorites, one of the go-to, cheap to give for the kids, nice sweet treats, not too sweet, but sweet enough for your kids. And it's cost efficient for them as well. And all you'll need today is a pack of marshmallows, six cups of Rice Krispie treats, or Rice Krispie um, cereal, I apologize, Rice Krispie cereal, and two tablespoons of butter. If you ain't got butter, you can use margarine. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna, and you need just a, a greased um, glass casserole dish or a pan, whatever you wanna put it in for when it's all done. So we're gonna take all our handy dandy ingredients and we're gonna go over here to the stove. And I'm gonna add my butter to my pan. And we're gonna let that melt. Give me a spoon, cause you're gonna need a spoon, cause you're gonna need to mix it. Mix all your ingredients together and stir. So my butter's melting on the table, on the stove. I'm gonna cut it up so it can melt faster. We get the show, like they say, let's get this party started. Let's get it started. Yeah, let's get it started. But, okay, we're gonna be serious. So we got my butter going. I'm gonna open up my marshmallows, cause my marshmallows is what's gonna go next. And you know, I don't know what it is about marshmallows, probably because I'm a little marshmallow myself, but, um, I don't know what it is about marshmallows, but I just got to eat one every time I see marshmallows. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. Mm, mm, mm. Like a fat kid loves cake. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay, my butter's all melted. I'm gonna add my marshmallows. And you wanna turn your your, your eye down low with these marshmallows, because they'll get the sticking on you. And then your it's a ruined product, so turn your heat down low. Uh oh, sorry, it splashed. Open it, get nobody. And you just let it melt down and stir. Let it melt down and stir. It's like marshmallows is like chocolate. It don't take very much to scorch it or for them to melt down. Okay, y'all, that my marshmallows is all melted and smooth in my pot. Remember, we, uh, my, my heat is still down low. And remember I told y'all in the beginning that it's six cups of, of the cereal. And now we're going to add the cereal. The cereal. Yes, you add it all at one time. And you start. And you start. You can turn your heat off now. You can take it off the heat. And you can just start. Just start. Throw them all in. Now get it all, get it all in there. Get it all that marshmallow. All that ooey gooey fun. Get it all. This is even a good Sunday meal. Good for holidays. You can make these at Christmas time and wrap them up and give them to your grandparents or the kids. Made them. You know, you can do all kinds of things. You can color them with dye and with food coloring. Not dye, but with food coloring. And put different colors and designs out of them. You can do so many things with rice, you know, Christmas treats. And then 
it'd be nice and fun spending time with the little ones, especially while we're in this quarantine. So we pretty much got it mixed. Really good. Okay, I'm going to show y'all a trick, so I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, my trick is, so you want to get all that stuff on your hands, to put it in the bowl to form it. I got me a little bottom. I got me some gloves. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the bottom and rub it all over my gloves. And that way it's easier to get out of the pot because it's all that marshmallow and cereal. Put a little bit more butter on your gloves or rub your gloves together. Really stick. Just pat it, just pat it a little bit. And then you let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes and your little kiddos can dive right in and enjoy. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna let them set, cool and set. I done cut them and look at all that ooey gooey goodness. Now I'm going to taste a piece and see if it's mild pearled. Bust them up. 